So hello everyone in this video we will be understanding how we can pass props in an angular component. So basically it is very easy. You just need to understand something. First of all let me just uh, show you how we can do that. Uh, we have this app nav component right. So in the app nav component uh, let's say I want to have something that is called uh, mm, li and this is a logo let's say I can make it an h3 so in this uh, logo I want to add uh, something called the name of the company basically I want to get the name of the company from wherever this navbar is called so how I can do that uh, let me just first show you the preview so you can see we have this one logo uh, for now just ignore the styling what is happening here let's say I want to change this text logo to something else for making it more clearer we can remove this that will work and it can be inside a B tag that will be good so if I do that so now it's fine let's say uh, we have this logo uh, text and in, inside this instead of this logo text I want to have the name of the company and I want to pass that from this app now an app nav component where it is called basically so I can do that very easily first of all we need to go inside the header.component.ts file and we have to declare some property first of all that is not a usual property that we have uh, like we discussed for app component.typescript file we had this properties but in this case we want the property to be passed down from the uh, component like whenever the component is called so for that we need to have a special syntax in angular we use input decorator this is a decorator that we can use and we can import it from angular core this decorator allows us to create uh, input variables or like props we can say uh, this will be passed from wherever the component is basically called so I can name uh, the prop or the input variable anything let's say the variable name is uh, let's say company name or simply company and I can initially set it to empty right that will work you can also provide the like type as well if you want to specify the type that will work but if you are declaring it uh, or initializing it while declaring so no need to specify that so it is done now I can provide uh, the company uh, prop in here the company prop I can pass let's say hello I can directly pass company because uh, I'm not doing any kind of special syntaxing here uh, let's say uh, Microsoft and how I can use that I can simply use it like a uh, like we did for interpolation syntax I can use double double curly braces and inside that I can specify the company if I do that and if I go to the browser you can see we have this Microsoft so this company is passed down from wherever it is called right so I can copy this nav tag in multiple times and I can simply change this text as well let's say I want to change it to Google I want to change it to meta so that will also work so we have created a component which is reusable and we can also pass down uh, props as well we can also pass down uh, different kinds of properties like different kinds of values 
data types with the different kinds of data types let's say we have a string we can also pass a number or anything that we want to have so this is basically it i hope you got something thank you for watching let's meet in the next video